I'm having a friend for lunch, a friend over for lunch today. Hey, Nick. Oh, hey, John. How, how'd you get through my house? I know your spare key is. Oh, cool. Well, welcome. Happy Alfred Packer Day. Happy Alfred Packer Day. Cheers. Cheers. Who's Alfred Packer? Well, since you asked, he's the Colorado cannibal who went to the San Juan Mountains in the pioneering era looking for silver. He also ate a bunch of his friends. Oh. Yeah. Why are we celebrating him? I, I think the question we should be asking is, how are we celebrating him? We're gonna make ribs. We're two unqualified schmoes. Highly unqualified. We celebrate those weird. And not so weird national holidays. In our own unique way. There's a day for everything, and we won't stop until we celebrate every day. <laughs> Yahtzee! If we can do it, so can you. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Alfred Packer Day. Happy Alfred Packer Day. Uh, Alfred. Alfred. Because he got a tattoo of his name on his body, but someone misspelled it oh. as Alfred. Alfred. And so people refer to him as either Alfred or Alfred. So his birth name his... is Alfred. Yeah. A tattooist screwed it up because he was probably illiterate back in yeah. the 1800s. Yep. And made Alfred. Yep. That's embarrassing. And so I he think... just went with it, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, Good for him. or maybe he didn't, but <laughs> he was stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, he was stuck with it. These are our Alfred Packer Colorado ribs. Uh, what we're going to do to start is use a rub made right here in Littleton, Colorado. Where can you buy that? Uh, I got this at Ace Hardware, actually. So <laughs> it's the only place I, I, I could find that had something that was made in, in Colorado. So you're going to want to put a healthy amount on both sides. So don't skimp on the rub. Over, over rub. Over rub. Over, over rub rubbing right meat. now. Yep. Why do you want to over rub? I feel that way when I salt my steak. Yeah. Is it the same with rub? I think so. I mean, because salt's a main ingredient in the rub. You do you think Alfred Packer over rubbed? I don't know if he over rubbed his meat. Yeah. You do you think he ate it raw or did he cook it? I feel like you'd want to cook even human flesh. There's a story of tribal women finding Alfred Packer cooking something and he threw something into the river. And when they found that later, it was a human arm. So I'm just setting the scene. He's cooking human flesh on a fire near mm -hmm. a river. Tribal women approach. Yep. He chucks a human arm into the river to try and get rid of evidence. Yeah. Clever. <laughs> Clever. Right into the river. <laughs> Is it robbing if it's off of a dead person? They weren't going to use it. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to be morally straight here. <laughs> You're going to need a two cup of chicken broth. I had the chick, chicken bouillon cube there that I mm. uh, dissolved into two cups of water here. And then we're going to use nice. a half cup of apple cider vinegar. That's what the recipe I stole this from said to do. I mean, this isn't original. <laughs> this is an original Colorado offered pack this of rib is, recipe. Yeah. This is an original cannibal recipe. This might be a tasteless episode because we're celebrating a cannibal, but these ribs will not be tasteless. You're going to want to put these in your crock pot with the ribs vertical around the sides. Mm. And then go ahead and throw that lid on there, Nick. Yeah. Might as well do something. Yeah. Just stand in here. And then you're going to want to cook this on a high pressure for 45 minutes and let it rest for 15 minutes once it's done. So we've got some time to kill. We've got some time to kill. Yeah. What do you want to do? You know, Alfred Backer is buried right down the street from my house. What? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Well, what are we doing here? Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Whoa, Alfred Packer's grave. This is it. I can't believe it was like two blocks away from your house this whole time. It's yeah. very centrally located. So John, who is Alfred Packer? He came out to Colorado looking for silver. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of problems. He had grand mal seizures, which were untreatable at the time. So he had a lot of health issues, but he was in Colorado and he actually hooked up with a group of guys and convinced them that he could be their guide into the Rocky Mountains looking for silver. He did not know anything now, at all about being a guide. I respectfully disagree with that assessment because I was a very successful frontiersman, okay? Classic fake it till you make it. I know I did that in college. Exactly. Don't we Just, all? Yeah. Probably needed a paycheck. I'm we? already on his side so far. All right. Continue. Maybe not like now because bad. a couple days into their journey, everyone kind of figured out that he was uh, basically full of False. and didn't know what he was doing. He estimated that it was going to be a 400 mile trip that they could do in 20 days. To my credit, it looked much shorter than 400 miles. Also, Gary was eating way more of the jerky ration then he was allotted. So he started with like 20 people. Half of them stayed and half of them went forward. So, you know, you had your smart ones that stayed back at the camp and it sounded like the rest were kind of 
still believing in mm, Alfred. So that, he let them silver. Ever, the silver fever, man. Um, Everyone wanted to strike it rich, but it became abundantly clear pretty quick that they were up the creek mm -hmm. once they were going. They ran out of food pretty fast. Winter hit pretty hard. Alfred uh, came back by himself. A lot of the accounts are disputed. We don't know if he murdered all of them, if any of it was in self-defense. Uh, it's pretty clear that he ate most of the people in his party. Fake news. When the snow melted, a prospector found the bodies. The area is called Dead Man's Gulch now. So oh, many wow. dead men there. I don't think it counts to rob someone after they're dead. So once he was accused of murdering these people, he actually ran away for nine years. I saw the world. When they finally found him, he confessed. He like was claiming full... self-defense, right? Yeah. He said one of the guys in his group murdered the other people. He killed one of them in self-defense. And then because he was in the middle of nowhere and starving, he ate them as a last resort. Y'all weren't yeah. there. Gary was being a real after trial, they sent him to Canyon City Jail. The sentence was 40 years, but he got out after 18 for parole. Right, so he did spend 18 years in prison. Yeah. It was like living in a meat market. What's interesting is that when he moved to Littleton, he became a model citizen, and I think he became a vegetarian. Impossible burgers are something that is just a miracle of science, because uh, you cannot tell the difference between an impossible burger and a big, large uh, beef burger. Alfred Packer, model citizen. Yeah. We should have him over for lunch. We should. You can see me. We've been seeing you the whole time. We've been ignoring you, but I feel rude now. Do you want to come back to our place and uh, and have some ribs? You want to have me for lunch? I mean, not have me. You want to have me over for lunch? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Once the ribs are done in the pressure cooker, go ahead and paint on your favorite barbecue sauce and then put them on the grill for three minutes on each side. Then you're done. Oh, Alfred, hey. I'm so glad you could join yeah. us. Oh, this just looks us. so delicious. Do you guys want to dig in or? Yeah. Oh, that's falling right off the bone. Right, right off the bone. You can tell that these have been cooked to perfection. Now, I'm quite a connoisseur of ribs myself. You've uh, had your fair share in your day. Uh-huh. Nothing better than a big, humongous piece of meat. The barbecue sauce is better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The oh, rub. Yeah. Can't oh. have too much rub. Alfred, can we see your tattoo? My tattoo. Did yeah, they did great. they really misspell it? They spelled yeah. it wrong. We just celebrated Alfred Packer Day, and so can you.